So hey dear students, welcome back to the DPP NEET 2020. In today's session, we will talk about transport in plants, set number two. That means in the set one, we have discussed only 20 questions. And in every set, in every video, you will see 20 questions only. Because guys, we need to practice to do the questions in very limited time. And we need to take half of the number of questions minute. That means if the question numbers are about 20, you should try to attempt those 20 questions in less than 10 minutes. So guys, let's jump into the action without any delay. Myself, Sushil Kumar Misra, your biology expert, having your very first question from set 2. So we have already done 20 questions. So now we will have 21st question here. A few drop of sap were collected by cutting across a plant stem. By suitable method, the sap was tested chemically. Which one of the following test results indicate that it is a phloem sap? So what would be the characteristic feature you would find and you would definitely say that it is a phloem sap? So guys, basically the phloem sap will show alkaline nature of pH and if it is tested it would be definitely alkaline in nature so it would be the answer number b so next question in ring girdled plant in ring girdled plant what do you mean by the ring girdled plant read out the options dear student what would happen that the suit or root will die together neither the root or nor the suit will die the suit dies first and the root dies first. What would be the right answer? Yes, the root will die first. The root will die first. So it would be the option number D. Next question that is the translocation of organic solutes in sieve tube members is supported by the translocation of organic solutes in sieve tube members is supported by Right answer is option number A that is cytoplasmic streaming. Cytoplasmic streaming is responsible for translocation of organic solutes in sieve tube members. Coming to next question dear students, which is correct about transport of conduction of substances? Transport of conduction of substances. Read out the questions and option. Organic food moves up through phloem. Organic food moves up through xylem. Inorganic food moves upwardly and downwardly through xylem. Or organic food moves upwardly and downwardly through phloem. Yes, dear students, it is option number D, which is correct. The rest all are wrong. Coming to the next question 25. That is that of protoplasm is prerequisite for vital functions like Death of protoplasm, where it is necessary that the whole protoplasm should be death. It is necessary for the transport of sap. Yes, the very first option is correct because to make the space, we need to have dead protoplasm. Next question, that is when water enters into root due to diffusion is termed as? Right answer would be? Passive absorption. Option number B, that kind of transport is known as passive absorption. Option number B. Here we have 27th, that is minerals absorbed by root move to the leaves through. So, what would be the elements that would carry the minerals from the root to the leaves? The right answer will be Yes, it is very easy. Xylem, option number A. Next question, dear students. Which one give the most valid and recent explanation for stomatal movement? So, as I told you that I have made detailed video on stomatal movement. And according to this, the recent and most valid explanation is, yes, option number D, potassium influx and outflux or influx or efflux. It is the most explainable 
theory or you can say the concept behind this stomatal movement coming to the next question dear students 29th in land plants the guard cell differ from those from the other epidermal cells in having so guard cells have something special which other epidermal cells do not have what is that that is chloroplast so it would be the option number d next question gutation is the result of so it is very easy guys it is due to root pressure so option number d is the correct one next question that is root pressure develops due to what is the reason behind the root pressure so yes it is due to active absorption root pressure develops due to active absorption option b here we have the next question that in soil water available for plants is so what type of water is available for plant yes guys this is capillary water this is capillary water which is available for the absorption of absorption from the plants coming to the next question that is the movement of water is from one cell to the of the cortex to the adjacent one in root is due to what is the reason behind this yes accumulation of inorganic salts in the cell accumulation of organic compounds in the cell or water potential gradient or chemical potential gradient so the most appropriate answer will be water potential gradient that is option number c coming to the next so i think it is a repetition we have done this one before also so guys answer it fast that is gutation is mainly due to so it is the same answer here option number a that is root pressure the stomatal movement is not affected by what is the option here temperature yes it is very important light is also important oxygen concentration is not much important and co2 concentration is also important so it will be the answer number c that is o2 concentration next the most widely accepted theory of ascent of sap in trees is so most widely accepted theory which is discussed in ncrt also read out the option dear students capillarity role of atmospheric pressure pulsating action of living cells transpiration pool and cohesion theory of dickson and jolly so it would be the option number d very correct transpiration pool theory which is given by dickson and jolly next question that is 37 yes stomata open and close due to why does it open and close as it is due to circadian rhythm genetic clock pressure of gas inside the leaf or turgor pressure of the guard cells so as per the appropriate theory this potassium influx and efflux theory it is the most important due to turgor pressure option number d yes next question that is phenyl mercuric acetate pma results in phenyl mercuric acetate results in reduced photosynthesis reduced transpiration reduced respiration or killing of plants so guys it will reduce the transpiration option number b it is anti transpirational agent phenyl mercuric acetate next question 39th one that is transpiration is list in when will the transpiration will be very low in a good soil moisture high wind velocity dry environment high atmospheric humidity so it will be list in high atmospheric humidity that is option number d next question what is the direction of movement of sugar in phloem so you know very well that sugar would be required to transport to the both part if this is a plant and here the sugar is formed in the leaf so leaf will transport the sugar to the upward as well as to the downward parts hence it will be known as bidirectional option number a so guys this is the fastest t20 you can say neat 2020 dpp set to transport in plants we have completed this set to and i hope you have also secured full marks comment down your score in the comment box and i would be so glad to know the full marks in your practice set thanks a lot till then take care let's meet in the next session